get one minute to go. It's already 5 a.m. Let's all rise. Before we start the Hindu game, let's begin by offering one standing bow to our beloved Sutan. And then go up to Mona Bay. So get their pay. Tim Bay. At all. Our most beloved heavenly parents, today, July the 3rd, 2015, here at Washington Family Church, National Cathedral, we pray that today will be a victorious day for our true parents with our true mother here on earth with the rest of the true children our true father in heaven we pray that we can always be guided by sweet words today as we read uh, the Hindu king and we pray as well for all the true grandchildren and all the brothers and sisters who are tuning into our teleconference and here at Washington Family Church. We pray for our elder sister, Sanjanin, and her husband, Intipnin, as the president and the vice president of the Family Federation for World Peace. We pray for their success always as they guide many missionaries from their international headquarters in Chungchim, Korea. And we pray as well for all the leaders there, the UPS chairman, the Sang Suk Kyung, and all the continental leaders all over the world, and national leaders too, in each nation, we pray for the president of the Family Federation for World Peace in each nation, especially here in America, Reverend Dr. Michael Bowden and his wife Kumiko, their children and the staff there at Fort West, Fort Third Street. We pray as well for all, all the vice presidents of each nation, for the Family Federation for World Peace, like our own here in America, Reverend Milan Stevens, and others. And we pray for the districts and regions all over the world. We pray that they will reach their goals, especially here in the mid-Atlantic area. The Reverend uh, Ernest Patton and his wife Keiko Patton and their children. And we pray for all the pastors and center leaders and assistant or vice uh, chairman of all the districts. And we pray for 
Reverend Jay Stewart of Coulson Center, and Reverend Akira Ota in Norfolk, Father Adrian Bayer in Richmond, and in the Beltway, we pray for Ms. Lejeune in Northern Virginia Center, and in Maryland, we pray for Pastor Robert Love and co-pastors Reverend Jim Boothby and Reverend and Mrs. Greg Jones and here in Washington DC we pray for the ACLC chairman of Bishop Augustus Collins and his wife and children and our pastor Reverend Gregory Oliver and his wife Sumita and daughter Brianna. We pray for our church council and all the blessed families and blessing candidates and all our brothers and sisters who are connected to the Washington Family Church. We pray for each other's success as we bring in more and more of the people that you have prepared for us ahead of the event. And we pray that we can make them core members too, that they can be even be better than us. And we pray for the second generation and even the third generation that they too will prosper and be protected from all harm. And we pray all of this in all our names and in my name, as the Nashus Francis Ticatalan, blessed single family. Adieu, adieu, adieu. Good morning. Okay, we're now on page 366 on the book Blessed Family and Ideal Kingdom 1. And before we start, please mute your cell phones or press star 36. Because there's still crackling noises there as if somebody is walking around. We're now on subtopic number four. In order to be born again, consider Jesus giving the bridegroom's love united with the Holy Spirit, giving love as his bride. That love must become my bone and flesh. That is, I am in you and you are in me. According to these words of Jesus, unless the foundation of artistic love is established, there is no rebirth. You may say you need to be born again, but in order for you to be born again, you need to love Jesus more than anyone. Satan's dominion is based on satanic love. So you must realize that unless your work of God-centered love is on a higher level than that of the satanic love, there is no way for you to connect to God. This is the suffering course and the difficult road which religious people must go. Christians love Jesus every day and wait for his second coming with their whole heart. Didn't they cry for 2,000 years? O oh, come, Lord and Bridegroom Jesus, unless you come out of your body with your hearts torn apart and your bones melted, you are in a situation of not knowing whether your spirit is inside or outside of your body. Only if you are able to communicate or relate to God or Jesus will the Holy Spirit come. With the coming of the Holy Spirit, the event of giving birth to a 
spirit baby happens. Have you had this experience? Yes. If you have no experience such as that, you are still the children of the satanic world. Even now, you must understand that you have a base for Satan's accusations. In this state, a person cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. He or she goes to hell. Maybe the work of changing the blood lineage is done by the Messiah. But the art of changing yourself is the work of no one other than yourself. Unless the art of changing yourself is the work of no one other than yourself, unless this is accomplished, you cannot advance on the road to salvation. It does not happen easily. You must face and overcome life and death situation. And right now on page 367, unless you do 40 days prayer fast or face the near fatal situation in which you are vomiting blood, the change of blood lineage might not be possible. Jesus said to his followers, whoever wants to follow me must give his life and bear the cross. Those who want to live will lose their life, and those who lose their life for my sake will gain their life. Without craving life in the satanic world, in front of God's will, my blood, flesh, and bones will be burned and made into powder. The smell will be so wonderful when shaken throughout the heavens and earth, one who loves God and the universe like that will not go to hell. He can live forever. With all your heart and effort, you must love the Lord your God. Is the same as saying there is no excuse for selfishness. This means that we must maintain the whole purpose for the public and that individual things are not tolerated. That is, with all your heart, will, and being, you must love the Lord your God. As is said in the first commandment, this is to be public from the absolute position. From the absolute position, to be public means that self does not exist. You represent the whole, and that representation should be made subject because this world belongs to Satan's sovereignty. Satan represents the whole as the center of existence. We must attend God as our absolute subject. In this, you cannot have the ideal of self. When you have a notion of self, Satan's condition for accusation always remains. From the position of denying self, centering on the absolute subject, the mind and body and external things must become one. From this position, you must make offerings. Jesus said to Nicodemus, Unless you are born again, you cannot enter heaven. The self which lived until now must be denied historically. No matter how much 
you give reasons that you are good and that you do many good works, self must be denied. Because of the fall, there is no possibility of avoiding this. Ours is the life of denial, denying living and even denying death. All of humankind who were born before the birth of true mother were born meaninglessly. That is the reason we must engraft to Jesus and go back into Jesus, bone marrow, then become husband and wife and be born again through the Holy Spirit. Because you are born out of false love, you need to be born again through true love. Christianity emphasizes love for this reason. In unity with Jesus, love is the only thing needed, not truth or right causes. Before life, love is needed. Love goes beyond history and transcends distance and space. Centering on love, God wanted to unite the original human beings and lets you forget about your own suffering and longing for love, you cannot jump to the original human level. We're now on page 368. When you have the heart which loves God and the creation, you can eliminate fallen love. Progress comes only if the pursuit of the original standard is stronger than the love of man and woman. Further, you must love God absolutely. Make a goal that has personal value centering on the love which recreates and go forward. It is like that because of the fall into unprincipled love. Human beings fell to a love of, or to a level of love centering on the pride and on the self. That is why only when we have God's original love can we go forward. You desire to reach the perfection of yourself must be stronger than the heart of a young man and woman dating. Only then can you go up to the perfection level. Unless your love for God digests satanic love, you cannot go up. That is why I am teaching you to adore God and the coming of the ideal groom, the Lord. This is the meaning of the 2,000 years of Christian celibate life waiting for the groom in the bride's position. Christians do not understand these content. If your love for God does not surpass the love of a worldly husband and wife, parents and children, and patriots for the nation, how can you become the sons and daughters of God? In order to become the true sons and daughters of God, first of all, God, the spirit world, and your descendants on the earth all must praise you. The sum of three must be accomplished. After three points are connected, an area is created. Two points form only a line, and this is insufficient. The human fall happened not by believing God, so we must believe the Lord of the second coming and follow Him. After following Him, what are you going to do? You must make the, the net for love. Isn't this simple? After that, you must 
substantially and artistically become one with Jesus, the bridegroom, then all things must be restored. By doing this, the position of God, true parents and true children appear, for which God hoped at the beginning of the world. That place is appearing in the universe from this point the new heaven and earth are opening. Without or although the contents of each of your blood lineages and backgrounds are different, in order to resemble the true parents you need to go or to do the engrafting work. If you do not engraft, it cannot be done. In order to engraft, you must complete your indemnity course. Because it started from the parents, it must be sold through the parents. Because Adam and Eve could not become the true parents, but become instead the false parents. God had to search until today for the true parents. The images of bridegroom and the bride and the feast of the Lamb at the time of the second coming referred to the search for the true parents. Everyone, you cannot make conditions without going through the true parents. Although you go out to the region to pioneer and then become a district leader and fulfill your mission, you might make the condition without centering on true parents. And we're now on page 369. Everything must be connected to the true parents. Only by working and getting results in relation to the true parents can you harvest the results for heaven. Otherwise, you cannot harvest for heaven. That is how you receive salvation in the completed testament age. Before long, or before longing for worldly things, you must long for the true parents. That is the responsibility of the children. Does the one who longs for his wife first qualify as a son? The child grows up in the parents' mess and thinks its parents are the number one favored people. This is the principle. Even if you receive the blessing in the future, you must make relations with your spouse only after making relations with his or, or her parents. Before anything, you must long for parents. You should feed that without, or feel, sorry, that without parents there is no night or day or world and that your own existence has no value. A heart of love and adoration for your parents should, be, should dominate you da uh, your daily life. After that, you can be a son and daughter of heaven. After going through the course of life, you can welcome your spouse as your husband or wife. Without going through the course, how can you welcome your husband or wife? First of all, you really need to long for the parents. My motivation for life is the true parents. My entire hope is true parents. All my ideal and the base of my happiness is true parents. Unless you attend 
the true friends with these standards you cannot find salvation have you attended the true friends like that you are false you must understand these clearly this is why you must have faith so strong as to go beyond your existence that is why you must have faith so strong as to go beyond your existence. Think, I am a son or daughter who is becoming one with a true parent eternally. Unless you incarnate this thought, you cannot do it. You cannot attend the true parents alone. You need to have your reciprocal partner either a man or a woman in case you are alone you must get help from one in the position of adam so you offer and return something to the parents and by that you win parents love and you can connect the blood relationship to your descendants this is how you can connect the foundation of love to your bloodline, which is the valuable content of the relationship of attendance. Attend the true friends with the intensity of the blood-related reciprocal standard of value. If you do otherwise, you cannot attend. You must know about this. The starting point of faith in the Unification Church is the realization that you are the son or daughter of God. This is centering from God's love, restoring the position of children. In order to become a true filial child, you must pass through the heart of parents. After entering the Unification Church, to know the Father, you must enter the world of heart. Leaders and missionaries should enter into this heart. Many times during the day, while you are walking, without being conscious of it, you are crying because of God's heart. Such a church can only prosper. And now we're on page 370. Doing your absolute best in the place of heart, you and the teacher can become one in the world of heart. And everything can be one. Heart transcends distance, transcends the environment, and transcends history. Also, it can shorten the time per period. Therefore, you must be in the position of teacher. If I am sad, you must feel sad. We must breathe together. If I am breathing out, you are inhaling. Unite with me and do things with the right heart you have uh, you are having hard times but you are going the way of restoration we are going this way because you and i know god you may have complaints or grudges but because you know god you cannot hate is this a bad thing because of not knowing God, everything is destroyed. Communism spreads throughout the world, and Christianity breaks down into pieces. In knowing throughout our world and Christianity, in knowing God, or is knowing God a sin, no matter how miserable you are, this way of life is very valuable. 
No matter what is breaking down, do it with your best effort and go the best way. It is the same in searching for the truth. Unlike to or unlike in other Christian churches, just reading the Bible does not make it. Think about the many ways you must use your observation as a scientist. Finding the principle requires the scientific method. Thinking about that, teacher found many things, did he not? And now we're on Roman numeral number two, rebirth and the origin of the blessing. Now it's already uh, 5.30, so uh, we will read this one tomorrow on page 370. So today we started on page 366 with subtopic number four, in order to be born again. Yep. So is there anyone who wants to share about our reading today? Yes, we have here Reverend Ezra. Hello, good morning. Yeah, I'm very excited to listen again to this uh, topic of uh, rebirth. because uh, I never related uh, from this book, the way we've been reading, uh, in the other chapter two, we read about um, restoration centering on families. Uh, that was 300, page 347. We read somewhere uh, I can't find it right now. I don't, know what, I don't want to go to that. But in one sentence, it says that uh, all nations and all religions and all cultures until from the time of Adam and Eve, all of them because they started with the archangel, they are all archangelic even the Christian until Christianity until now it's still part of archangelic uh, system it is only it comes to a new religion or the new idea of God which did not start with Adam and Eve now started with true parents because true parents are di direct vertical and horizontal ideal of God, the way God wanted it in the original, uh, uh, originally. Therefore, for us, people who come from the archangelic lineage of Satan, for us to enter this new lineage, which took God 6,000 years biblical history to establish uh, true parents and start a new idea, the original idea of God, we must be receive rebirth. This is the same thing Jesus talked about to Nicodemus, about everyone must be born again. Christianity, has, because Jesus Christ could not establish uh, spiritual rebirth and physical rebirth because he was crucified on the cross, we could only receive spiritual rebirth with Jesus as the representing God's masculinity and the Holy Spirit representing God's femininity. So we could receive spiritual salvation. But now with true parents, 
we can receive both physical rebirth and spiritual rebirth together through this the blessing and now we can enter be engrafted into God's lineage and that's why this topic when we were reading about rebirth I could see this point now more clearly and more profoundly because I'm remembering of you know that statement that all religions all nations all cultures of the world until from the time of the fall until now are all archangelic so the start of the true human um, relationship with God that is on God's side started with true parents and that's why uh, even the pledge it's called the family pledge this is the first family God on God's side that is has nothing to do with the archangel because of true parents so this point of rebirth as we were reading today was uh, very profound to me and I could see uh, the reality and we can see because of uh, the archangelic relationship that's why still Satan the archangel and the fallen angels that were cast down as we read in the book of Isaiah they were cast down from heaven they are still influencing humankind and because we are in the last days uh, these systems like uh, same-sex marriages which are still the most fallen archangelic uh, uh, establishment of Satan are uh, bearing fruit and coming to the surface now so they also are victims of the archangel and the archangelic world and that's why uh, we cannot fight them like uh, uh, they are our brothers who are victims of the archangelic world we must love them like true parents and we must bring them to understand their human, their human value and restore them and bring them to receive rebirth and separate them from the archangelic system which uh, enters in their bodies and brings them the confusion because the archangelic world has always wanted to bring down the children of God and misuse them and uh, to make them uh, mankind not to achieve the ideal of God because when we, uh, we become true sons and daughters of God, angels are supposed to be in the, our servant position. But the archangel, Lucifer, we know in the fallen nature, number two is reversal of position and reversal of order. So they do not want to go back to their position as servants and we to become the sons and daughters of God in the original order of love of God so they have been resisting this point because they want to keep us subjugated and keep their position uh, rebelling rebellious to us and rebellious to God and make us continue suffering under them because they uh, the Bible says they are the rulers, Satan is the ruler of this world. So he is ruling over us. And we have seen all kingdoms and all nations and all religions until now, from the time of the fall, are all archangelic. So that's what I wanted to share.
and how much hope do we have through this message of rebirth and the origin of the blessing because this is the hope of all humankind to enter into and separate from the archangelic influence thank you very much that's what i wanted to share thank you Mr. anybody else who wants to share about our reading today so uh, he didn't only uh, reverse his dominion. His, uh, he, he, uh, the archangel left his position. Yes. And he even multiplied all these, sin, you know, sins and all this fallen nature. Yes, and took so, our, mm -hmm. he took our blessings and changed everything. So uh, they're trying to use media right now. They even uh, infiltrated even these uh, uh, annual, uh, you know, uh, you know, the uh, like a uh, annual. Uh, they care for you know buildings to be restored and landscape, but deep within, after these people do something to this. Uh, buildings they invite all the people in a pub owned by the LGBT and they have newspapers there telling about you know uh, gay friendly bars and gay friendly so me Elizabeth and once in a while we, we were there in that pub they, they're giving out all kinds of drinks er, this is after lunch they already give drinks, not only uh, soft drinks, but even, you know, liquor after, you know, and most people already have, who are helping them with companies behind them, have children, teenagers. They expose these people already to this environment in one of the, uh, the bars here in, in D.C. So I felt like why are they having a nightclub after lunch? And they give out T-shirts for those who have, you know, have not uh, got their T-shirts because they, they have this project every year. So we should be always be, you know, not only be steadfast, but very observant. Mm -hmm. They gave out all these things as you know easy as they it may get and they give out free and they control also even the media right now and uh, as we have uh, discussed also a few days ago that eighth great graders will be learning about same-sex marriages and about even th uh, things that are taboo like incest and even all these, you know, negative relationships. They should learn about true family values instead of all these things. Because a true family value would make them learn about true parents and, you know, it will also tell them a little bit about the divine principle and the fall of man and it's again you know, the archangel is seducing Eve, seducing all women to be their, you know, uh, partner and even fall before they become married in the future. So here, in order to be born again, we must love Jesus more than anybody in the satanic world. So if we love our parents or our relatives and and you know that's why we need to live there for a while attend workshops pioneer and become a district leader by yourself on the district and then we get the blessing for our true parents so even uh, Jesus Christ said to his followers whoever wants to follow me must give his life and bear the cross 
those who want to live will lose their life, and those who lose their life for my sake will gain their life. So without craving life in the satanic world, in front of God's will, my blood, flesh, and bones will be burned and made into powder. And of course, the smell will be so wonderful. So when shaken throughout the heaven and earth, one who loves God and the universe, like that will not go to hell, but he can live forever. So uh, it's very interesting also that we always discuss this about Nicodemus, a very wise scholar of the Old Testament. A, uh, he is a, a Pharisee even. And Jesus said to Nicodemus, unless you are born again, you cannot enter heaven. The self which lived until now must be denied historically. No matter how much you give reasons that you are good and you do many good works, self must be denied. Because of the fall, there is no possibility of avoiding this. Ours is the life of denial, denying living and even denying denying death. So uh, if you read further today on page 367, all of humankind who were born before the birth of the true mother were born meaninglessly, as Reverend Ezra has you know, mentioned, that they were born meaninglessly before the birth of, of true mother. This is the reason we must engraft to Jesus and go back into Jesus' bone marrow and then become husband and wife and be born again through the Holy Spirit because you are born out of false love. You need to be born again through true love. So Christianity emphasizes love for this reason. So again, that is the reason we must engraft to Jesus and go back into Jesus' bone marrow, then become husband and wife and be born again through the Holy Spirit. So when we learn about the, the divine principle, when we learn who the, the Messiah is, the Messiahs are Jesus and the Holy Spirit, but they are already there in the spiritual world since 2,000 years ago, moving the hearts and minds of people. We have now the true parents who we need to engraft even to their blood, you know, blood lineage. We take in the blood with the holy wine, their blood, and then we engraft to their lineage as fallen people and then we become, you know, restored. Mm -hmm. We, uh, you know, we even had to cut off our heads and put their Jesus head to our body so that we can live like Christ and live like, you know, our true parents. So. Uh, Anybody else who wants to share about our reading today? So, uh, if there's no other uh, reflection, let's all rise and have unison prayer. Our most beloved Heavenly Parent, we're so thankful that we can always be inspired by your words today, that all of us, after two months, are meaningful now because we were even our ancestors and the people who were born before two months are meaningless. 
we pray that we can always appreciate all these blessings that you have given us for guiding us to today, even here, standing in your presence. We pray that all the good, absolute spirits will always guide us and bring us to people that you want us to transform and be brought to your precious people. We pray, our heavenly parents, that we can always be your instrument, always. Your voice box, your hands, your feet, your eyes, every part of our body, we pray that we don't have anything about the self, but all is public. And we pray that we can always be of service to you every day and please use us to have impact and really change us and make a difference on this world. We pray, our Heavenly Parents, that we can always make all the desired conditions of this that we are doing right now to feel your presence always as you have guided us today that we have to breathe the same. We have to think the same as we think that. And we will always think about what to do, what you do in any situation that we will follow and we pray that we can always really guide all the people who are taking the life and coming here to the church and even in our place of now of worship we pray that we can guide anyone there and we pray all of this in all our names and in my name as a man of Francis Bikitalani bless the simple fact Friday today. Yeah. yeah, the day. Yes, God bless. Yes, Mansi Mansi. 